The World Register is an independent news source. Our goal is to be a leading provider of truthful, unbiased, and timely reporting about people, places, and events. We currently use other news outlets to provide content and are not responsible for their version of events. Reuters News Agency reports today that suicide bombers and gunmen attacked the Iranian parliament and the mausoleum of Ayatollah Khomeini in Tehran, Iran. At least 12 people have been killed and 43 wounded in the attacks. According to the reports, the militants were dressed as women when they burst through parliament's main entrance in central Tehran. The Islamic State claimed responsibility and released a video purporting to show gunmen inside the parliament building. The Iranian Islamic Revolutionary Guard Corps issued a statement saying, quote, This terrorist attack happened only a week after the meeting between the U.S. President Donald Trump and the Saudi backward leaders who support terrorists. The fact that Islamic State has claimed responsibility proves that they were involved in the brutal attack. Breitbart News Network reports today that Drug overdose is now the leading cause of death for Americans under the age of 50. Although it was not clear from the report which drugs were responsible for the deaths, the focus of the report was on a drug called fentanyl. In a statement, U.S. Deputy Attorney General Rod Rosenstein said, quote, Fentanyl is especially dangerous. It is 40 to 50 times more deadly than heroin. Just 2 milligrams, a few grains of salt, an amount you could fit on the tip of your finger, can be lethal. Fentanyl exposure can injure or kill innocent law enforcement officers and first responders. Inhaling a few airborne particles can have dramatic effects. According to the report, Chuck Rosenberg, acting head of the Drug Enforcement Agency, has spoken extensively with his Chinese counterparts in law enforcement since China is the major source of fentanyl that enters America. According to Rosenberg, the Chinese government banned 116 synthetic opioids for export and four more after his trip to China in March. Additional synthetics are scheduled to be banned as well. The Gateway Pundit reports today that Fox News political commenter Tucker Carlson interviewed Black Lives Matter supporter Lisa Durden about a New York chapter's Blacks Only Memorial Day party. Carlson asked Durden, quote, I thought the whole point of Black Lives Matter was to speak out against singling out people based on race. Durden replied, quote, Boo hoo hoo. You white people are angry because you couldn't use your white privilege card to get invited to the Black Lives Matter All Black Memorial Day celebration. A link to the Gateway Pundit, which has a link to the video exchange, can be found at our website, worldregister.wordpress.com.